remember when Adventures Guys Gremlins was sweet. I didn't know that. She just tapped my legs. Like, <laughs> anyway, so today's video, guys, um, we are doing something that I've really never done on the channel before. Today, guys, we are going to the music store and I'm going to be buying a guitar, a brand new guitar. Um, and I think I've got to tie some strings with it. So, um, I have some money to spend on it. And, um, yeah, I was going to get some saxophone reeds, but they're like $8 on Amazon. I'm not even going to ask for them here. Because I know they're going to charge like probably 20 bucks for Amazon for saxophone reeds. Anyway, um, because I'm playing sax right now. Anyway, I'm going in to get a guitar. It, um, I'm supposed to be getting an Epiphone black high gloss acoustic. Um, if they still have it, they lowered the price on it because they've had it before Christmas. So it's a really after Christmas deal type thing. I got clearance. Um, so we're going to hopefully pick this up because I haven't sold it. I'm going to go look around, shop around, um, play some different instruments maybe possibly. And I'm not going to be able to film too much in the store. I'm going to film me maybe test running the instrument. And that's it, maybe. And look around. <clears throat> I can't film anybody in there or else I'll get in trouble. Um, I gotta keep the cameras low key as possible. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna we're head to the music store right now. That's where we're driving. Uh, Mom, thanks for taking me up here today. Out of your way. This is the only thing. We're not going up here for anything else but go to the music store. So thank you. Anyway, so um, we are on our way to the music store. And um, I'll see you when we get to our music store. See that? Here's the guitar right here. I'm interested in. concert and then i got the bass strings that i need for the bass guitar at our school and then i got these for free so um with the guitar you got a free strap a free set of strings and some free picks um so the strings that i got for free were these right here these ernie ball regular slinkies and you can see all the gauges right there um but anyway um so i got these for free because i need to string some stuff at the school so like yeah that's a free pack of strings that's less money to have to go to the school so i got a free pack of strings for um the electric guitar at our school and I got them bass strings for like $29, I think so. $29 for that set of bass strings, which I am donating to our school. So, um, uh, there's not very, many people, not very many people that donate that much money to a school or any amount of money, to be honest. Anyway, I got these, um, super slinky Ernie Ball bass strings. And, um, there's the gauges, one, two, three, four, which is 45, six, about 80, 100. Um, taking them tomorrow if we go, because we've had some snow, as y'all, um, can see right there. But anyway, so we've, um, I'm gonna be back out there. I gotta go somewhere today, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be running by concert when I leave. So, um, I'm gonna run back and, um, pick up a set of strings for my new guitar because they are pretty dull. I'm gonna, we're gonna look at the guitar after I get the new strings for it. I'm gonna play it before I put the new ones on, and then I'm gonna put the new ones on, and then I'm going to do the, um, actual test run on it. So, um, let's go pick up these strings and, uh, get back to the house, and, um, we'll look at the guitar. So, let's do it. Right, so that's the string. That's the guitar. This is my guitar. And, um, I already took the strings off of it. And look how pretty that fretboard is. Without the strings, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, the string gauge I'm going to be using is Diodario's Foster Bronze, um, uh, extra light gauge. And, um, that's the price right there. Um, pretty, pretty decent set. So, um, uh, this is the string we'll be throwing on to make the process a little quicker. I also picked up this little string winder, uh, pick winder crank thingy, um, make the job a little faster, so. And then I gotta get some clippers, so. Uh, let's go ahead and string that. Righty, the guitar's restrung. Everything's good. A sad finger later, got poked. Um, got all the strings on. I had a lot of issue with this string right here. Um, we had to, um, fix it or whatever. And, uh, it kind of snapped on me, so luckily it snapped up here and not down here. And, um, as you can see, there is zero string in it whatsoever. You know, I left a little bit right here, just in case something were to happen along the way. But, um, we had to fix that string, so, um, got tuned up for the most part. So, um, but I'm gonna tell you now, this, this gauge right here is for a beginner guitar, because this is not a beginner guitar. This right here is a good, 
this is Epiphone. Okay, Epiphones, they're not really mainly, I don't think they're good beginner guitars. So now, Fender and Yamaha, they make some beginner guitars. Um, like I said, these strings are fine. They'll last me for maybe a couple months, hopefully. Um, and then I'll put some lights on it because I should have I should have got a light. But uh, be careful with your um, your extra light gauge unless your guitar's like a beginner or something. Now some guitars, some full playing good professional guitars will handle these strings. This one's not. This one don't like it. I don't think. But um, I have a friend that I be strung for, and his guitar seems pretty good with it. So, um, but yeah, just be careful with strings. Gauges really do matter. Yeah, you need to do research on gauges. I'll do a video about that one day. Um, but yeah, I got the guitar all strung up, and um, I'm going to do something about my finger. I'm gonna play it here a little while. So let's do it. Everybody, so got the guitar all strung up. I'm back home. Um, it's actually been about a day or two, and I think it's been about two days since I strung it. Anyways, string sounds just as good still. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Here's the guitar right here. Um, get a nice look at that. So, um, we're going to go ahead and play this bad boy. So, um, I just now got it all tuned up again. I've been stretching out the strings and stuff, getting them good. And, um, we're ready to test this thing out, y'all. Like, we are ready to... Ready to go. So, um, first off, we're just gonna start with a simple chord, the C chord. Well, I'm gonna use a pick. Um, well, yeah, y'all got a little idea of the sound. Um, I don't know where my pick went. Where'd my pick go? Hmm, I don't have a pick. Alright, well, guys, I'm just gonna use no pick. I usually have a pick on my piano, which is so weird because it's not there. I have, oh my gosh, y'all. You know, I, ha I have a pick everywhere. So that every time I need a pick, I don't know where a pick is. So, if y'all wanna. Y'all wanna put in the comments? Yo, I have picks. Hit me up, y'all, in the comments. I'll give you your Instagram or something. Jeez, I'm mighty, dude. No picks? Dude, you can't have that. Dude, I have no picks. God, there's gotta be some in here. Oh, thank God. I literally almost didn't have it. I almost, almost did not have a pick. Alright, got a pick. Got the guitar. I'll try this now. Got my pick. Found it sitting on the table in the living room. On uh, one of our coffee tables. So, um, C chord. Um, let's do it. Wow. And um, let's go ahead and try the most one of the most easiest chords on guitar, that on an E minor chord. But this is the G chord, the G natural chord, G major. Holding the pick sideways. Wow, try that um, e uh, D chord. Now let's try that E minor. Woo, getting acting good. Got the E minor. Now, um, song test, country music. Like a rainbow. That's a song by Chris Jansen. Something to like take a drunk girl home. It goes something like Take a drunk girl home, let her sleep all alone, leave the keys on the counter, your number by the phone. Pick up her life, oh. pick up her life, she threw on the floor, leave the whole lot on, walk out and lock the door. That's how she knows, difference in a boy and a man. Take a drunk girl home. Anyway, I have issues with that one. Anyway, um, let's try some Morgan Wallen song. Well, a Morgan Wallen song by Morgan Wallen. I can't use a pick for this part right here. I mean, I can, but it's hard. It's Friday at the five. I got it just in time. When I hit him with a line for I wean her off the mind. I ain't been here long. But the barber's in the pond going up, down, up, down, up, down. Tonight we gonna raise a whole lot more than kind Cause there's money in the bank And tomorrow's Saturday So if they pass that pit jack Yes, wait, I turn it up, down Up, down, up, down We just holding it down here in BFE Still rolling around with a burnt CD Free bird, five minutes, TV Bobbing up, down, up, down We're living up, down uh, We got what we got We don't need the rest Concern is parking lot Voice issues, y'all. Voice issues. 
got a mic. Anyway, it works good on that. Now, another song called One Try, which I am going to use a pick, but I bought a tune it differently. This actually requires a drop D. For those, for y for those of y'all that don't know what a drop D is, basically is when you take the very top string, the E string, you drop it down. So I'm going to pluck, so I'm going to pluck the D string, and I'm going to match the first E string to that pitch. Alright. Pretty dang close. Alright, so now your tuning should be... D, A, D, G, B, E. I think that's right, yeah. All right, I have perfect pitch, so I hope that's right. If I'm wrong, y'all can go ahead and just scold me in the comments. All right, so this is a, another song by Chris Jansen. Not Drunk Girl, but it's a, um, it's one of, I don't know if it's more popular or not. Um, but I like Drunk Girl better because I like how it plays, has more piano in it than anything. And you know me, my phone's literally sitting on a piano. So, um, let's try this song out. See if I can do it. Got it. What the, I, keep, I keep confusing that song with Jake Owen for some reason. But I dang sure wanna be. See, I can't hear the words in these songs. But it can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck to pull it. It can buy me a Yeti 110 eyes down with some silver bullets. But it can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck to pull it. It can buy me a Yeti 110 eyes down with some silver bullets. Alright, anyway, okay, enough for the singing, enough for the country music, enough for that. The guitar, quality of the epiphone. Great guitar. Um, this guitar was, I didn't unbox this guitar, just, you know, y'all saw it sitting on the rack in the store. Um, not a bad guitar at all. Um, not a beginner guitar, I mean, it's a, it's a, a, I mean, any guitar can be for a beginner. You can buy a million dollar guitar and give it to a beginner, okay? And a, a millionaire can, um, not a millionaire. A million, well, yeah, a millionaire. A millionaire can buy a million dollar guitar, and they're just beginning out. To me, guitars are guitars. Now, yes, there is a certain standard of quality. But this right here, if I were to play this guitar, I didn't see this brand or the sticker inside of the sound hall in the body. And there was no, no evidence of what brand or model or age this guitar is, or if it's a Dreadnought or Concert, okay? None of them stickers. I'm going to go like... This might be a beginner guitar. Oh, wait, no, this is a professional, isn't it? The guitars. Now, pianos, yes, yes, pianos are really, really easy to tell. Pianos are, woo, really easy to tell. But, in a guitar, you can get an old guitar and just throw the, jump, throw the strings out, put some really high-quality strings on them, there you go. There's your high-quality guitar made out of standard wood that some company's ripping people off thousands of dollars on when you can buy thousands cheaper. Um, I think that's the case with a lot of guitars, actually. Um, great guitar, Epiphone, it's a really nice guitar. Um, was it worth $200? For sure. Um, I'd be honest, I think it'd be worth more, but, I heck, when I, if I had a store right now, if, well, I, I, I had a piano for sale, I sell about anything, okay? I do sell a lot of instruments every here and there. If I had this guitar, someone called me and said, hey, I got this guitar, will you take it? For like, maybe, you know, you give me like, say, 100 bucks for it. I'd be like, let me see the guitar, they'll bring the guitar, let me look at it, or I'll go see them. I'll go look at the guitar, and, you know, and if this was the guitar I was looking at, I'd be checking it out, you know, looking over here and there, I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, I'll give you about 150 bucks for it. Just ask the age, ask, you know, everything about it. Um, any, any new strings, any neck adjustments. This is easily 150 bucks right here, just not even the profit. I'd sell this sucker for 350 Well, probably not, I wouldn't go that high. I'll, I'll see, let's see, how about I go on this? See, I got it for 200 Ooh. I think it's 200 Yeah, $200. So if I got this guitar for 200 if I were to go resell this guitar, I'd probably say, I'd have to say 300 because if I got it for 100 then it would be a different story. Because when you can't just go sky high on these things. These guitars, you don't need that. Pianos, you can maybe get by with, but it's going to have to be a grand piano. Anyway, um, thoughts, great guitar. Um, if you're looking for a new guitar, or you're just starting out, or if you even if you're a professional guitar player, Epiphone, get one. They are... Really amazing. 
Um, I, I did throw new strings on it, but you don't have to. I did just because where it was sitting out on display for so long, since before Christmas, that, you know, the strings were a little dull because dust had been building up on it. So I thought that, you know, I'd just take strings off it, new ones on. You don't have to. Um, if you get the guitar online, you, for one, you don't have to get, you don't have to be paying profit money. And you, and, and number two, you're opening it straight out of the box, peeling the plastic off the guitar and everything. Have that little ASMR effect by peeling the stuff off of it. I'll tell you, it's worth it. Order these guitars, Evaphones, um, stay away from Sawtooth, um, stay away from just any low, low, any, any guitar under $200, do not buy it. Any guitar under that, you do not want it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get off here, and uh, there's the guitar review. That is my thoughts on this ac mm, acoustic Evaphone guitar black finish they have this in black and sunburst so i'm gonna get off here have a great day and um, i have a new guitar over here not really new it's actually a really old guitar this guitar right here i just got in today this was this guitar is a donation um if you want to see the restoration of that guitar i'm going to be fully restoring that guitar on making some music on my new channel not really new channels not really my old um my old king of emeralds channel it's called making some music i'm going to be doing a full restoration on that guitar like, I'm talking new strings, new pins, everything. So, go watch that channel if you want to see that. So, I'm actually going to start on that restoration here this week. So, um, have a great one, guys. And I'll see you next time. Get an Epiphone. Have a great day.